I think many of us question, what do I want? And so I think it's perfect for going into this year. What is it that you want? And then really set your sights on that and then be willing and flexible, which I think 2020 was also a great teacher of how can you flex? How much can you flex? And the more that we can bend, the less we break, right? If you're really rigid, that's when things break. That's when it hurts more. That's when, you know, all those things happen. It's like if you're going on this dirt road that's been closed for the last 20 years and you're on it and you don't have the right vehicle for it, if you have the right vehicle for it and it's fun for you, then by all means go down it. But if you have a sports car on this dirt path that has all these divots and hills and bumps and all this other stuff and somebody just tells you, hey, there's like a brand new freeway just right over there and smoother, takes you directly where you want to go. It's like just being like, oh, okay there's a new way. There's another way of doing it. There's multiple ways of doing it. Right. It's like, right. How, what, what's the level of, I don't know, the level of difficulty you want to get there. Cause you can make things very easy to get you somewhere. You could take the hard way. And I think a lot of people tend to go for the hard way or somewhere in the middle of it. Um, I don't know if it's side tangent or not, but like, I think things used to come to me very easy, easily when I was younger. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what would say resented it, but it was just like, like, no, I got to like prove myself kind of a thing. Right. And so things that used to come to me easily are coming a little harder now because I resisted them. And I'm just like, man, after a few mindset sessions and stuff, I'm like, oh, shit. It's, oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, stuff used to be, I used to get that stuff a lot easier when I was younger. But then I had, I, I trained myself I'm like, no, I have to work for it. I have mm -hmm. to, I have to earn it somehow. Whereas before I was just like, oh yeah, it's like, yeah, it's always just coming. And he's like, okay. And things, and now I'm like, no, I, ha I have to get it a certain way. Sometimes I have, to, I have to get it a certain way or that, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, no, just there's an easier way. It's like, why make it so hard? Like, yeah. So. It's, it's so true. And I think having, you know, this comes back to Jim Collins. He did so much research in the eighties uh, and wrote and uh, co-wrote the book built to last. He did good to great. He did a number of other books. But the thing that he always said was the most successful long-term, and I'm talking about companies, but this can come to our personal identity as well, is preserve the core. And what he meant was like your core beliefs, your core strategies, what you want in your life, that, that question of like what you want, preserve that with everything that you can, because that's who you are. And then be willing to change everything else, everything else is like, and you know, that's, and if we, you know, if we, if we look at our previous year, 2020, with all the change that went on. I can't tell you how many people I got on the phone with, how many clients we worked with. They're like, oh my gosh, it really brought me back to my core. You know, like, what do I want? We, I think many of us question, what do I want? And so I think it's perfect for going into this year. What is it that you want? And then really set your sights on that and then be willing and flexible, which I think 2020 was also a great teacher of. How can you flex? How much can you flex? And the more that we can bend, the less we break, right? If you're really rigid, that's when things break. That's when it hurts more. That's when, you know, all those things happen. So I love what you're saying, Giovanni. And, you know, so it's just really setting your sights on what you want and not be so rigid. I think we all can be too rigid on ourselves. And I know I've done that. I've set a whole goal with a map and everything for the whole year. And then within the first week, I used to always have a joke, you know, Chinese New Year uh, typically comes a month later in February, right? And I, I can't tell you how many years I'm like, okay, I'm going to restart. Uh, Chinese New Year. I get to start my new year over again. I can't wait because it, uh, it, it would always like within a week, I would be already off track. I'd be like, what? You know, so be, so I guess what we're saying, I think what I'm adding to what you're saying, Giovanni, is that that is going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. So you set your sights on something, then all of a sudden new things are going to come, new lessons are going to come. Be willing to flex, but you can keep going towards your goal and, but be willing to flex how you get there. Um, so I think that's, what I would close on my thought for the new year is you know, do write down what you want, you know, cause I think some people I've even talked to people, they're like, I'm not even going to write anything down cause I never get what I want. You know, and it's kind of grumpy about it. And it's like, okay, Hey, let that go. That's not being kind to yourself. Ask for what you want, but then be willing to be flexible on how you get there. Cause we probably don't know. We probably don't know. How many people actually ask themselves like, um, uh, 
So when we ask ourselves, so what would I like? Or what would you like? It's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Great. What will having that do for you? Yeah. So going a little bit deeper has yeah. a little bit more of how, what it is that we're looking for. And, and you know, if we are actually making our, uh, creating our experience, if we say we want something and we're not getting it, maybe we're not wanting that really, at least not yet. Right. 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 I mean, or, or maybe we think it's the answer. I can't tell you how many people I wrote come to me and said, you know, they might already be a millionaire. Like quite a few millionaires I've gotten to work with have come in to ask for more money. And when I asked that question, what will having that do for you? More than one of them it's, have said, have pondered for a second and said, you know what? I don't want more money. I think I, I just think that that's the answer, but you know, I thought being a millionaire would have been the answer and now it's not. So why would more money be the answer? And then we actually get to what they really want. And it's not something that money can buy, you know, like you I, so really look at that, that question. I just want to emphasize it one more time. What will having that do for you? That is a, a magical question. Um, you know, specifically around neurolinguistics program, but just on a simple question, it really makes you go deeper. And I think that depth is where we find what we want because that goes, this goes back to the road. You know, like people already presuppose that I need more money. Oh, I can't have what I want until I have more money. That's just one example, right? But then the reality is, how many times can we have that without the money? There is probably a lot. And so we have to ask ourselves what we really want and then be flexible on how we get there because you might not even need the money. And that's, that baffles people, but you have to let that go for a second. First and foremost, ask yourself what you would like, and then what will having that do for you? And just go as deep as you can. You can ask yourself that question many times, like in a journal. Hey there, I want to give you something really big. It's called Clear Path to Customers. It's the way that we get the right language to get the right client. I like to call them your wow clients so that you can have more results, more revenue, more raving fans, and more referrals. And I want to give this to you absolutely free. And all you have to do is go to stevenoplaton.com to check it out. Or you can look at the description here. We'll put the details there. As always, remember, choose gratitude and create freedom.